We have seen money evolve over the years, going from cash to credit to just using our phones to make purchases. Could Bitcoin be next? The cryptocurrency is surging right now, and some major companies are buying in. The National Desk's Angela Brown is looking into whether the experts say you should jump on board. I still don't understand this whole Bitcoin craze. You know, I kind of learned from this story, but I still have so many questions, Jan. Right. Bitcoin scares some consumers away because, once, like Jan said, many don't understand what it is. It's basically just digital money. One major difference, though, between paper money and Bitcoin, there is a limited supply a Bitcoin. Only 21 million Bitcoins exist. That's it. Financial experts say that scarcity can help it preserve its value. The challenge facing cryptocurrency is getting consumers to want it. And right now, Cedarville University economics professor Jeffrey Heyman says Bitcoin is hot. Well, the main reason people are interested in Bitcoin right now is it's gone from cents to over $50,000. They want it because everybody else seems to want it. They want to get rich. The frenzy surrounding Bitcoin is catching fire because of financial titans like Tesla that recently bought $1.5 billion in Bitcoin and payment giant PayPal is letting their users buy and sell it. Even the city of Miami may move to Bitcoin. County commissioners voted to study using Bitcoin for payment at the mayor's request. To procure a vendor to be able to offer our employees to get a percentage of their salary in Bitcoin allows our residents to pay for fees uh, in Bitcoin. Bitcoin is virtual money produced out of thin air through a process called mining using computing power. There is no central bank and said Bitcoin transactions are recorded on a ledger called a blockchain. VBIT CEO Don Vo says Bitcoin opens up the financial market to people who are locked out. There's still tens of millions of people uh, here in the U.S. as well that does not have access to uh, the uh, financial system. Like they don't have a regular checking account. But producing cryptocurrency can be expensive. It uses a lot of electricity. One reason VBIT Technologies is setting up a mining facility in Montana to capitalize on the state's hydroelectric power. It's uh, renewable, it doesn't leave a carbon uh, footprint, and you know, it's just better for the environment. So what exactly is the future of Bitcoin? Nobody seems to know for sure. But Professor Heyman says you should not expect Bitcoin to replace government-issued currency. He believes investing in the technology powering Bitcoin may be more profitable than buying Bitcoin itself. There are trillions of dollars of transactions going on every day in dollar-denominated debit cards and other things. Blockchain, the public authentication process from the way Bitcoin is structured, could never keep up with that. And experts say, and we have seen this, that cryptocurrency can be volatile, subject to its value rising, only to take a steep fall. But Jan, cryptocurrency is getting some pushback, though. Russian civil servants are banned from owning cryptocurrency, and the currency is also banned, or Bitcoin is banned, in some countries, including, in some places, including China. Okay, Angela, thanks so much. It is 51 minutes past the hour.